Hi everyone in YouTube world. You guys probably know what time it is. It's actually time for me to change up my Deidre and Danelle twin dolls. And so these are the only dolls that I have in my collection who are actually meant to be real twins as character dolls. So Deidre um, is part of a twin so, and Danelle is the other part of the twin. <laughs> So they are meant to be together. Um, I like the fact that even as they are twins, they still have a phenotype genes that make them look uh, phonetically different, such as uh, Deidre having a chocolate coffee brown color to her hair, and um, her hair is nice and curly. And then Danelle has more of a blonde and light brown as well as some bits of dark brown to her hair and her hair texture is different it's a little bit more textured and a little bit more on the curlier side so um, I do like the fact that these twins even though they have the same face molds uh, they are meant to look just a tad bit different um, when it comes to their hair and um, I guess if you're the kind of person who loves to give your dolls personality, um, where for me, I'm just a collector. So I usually just like to um, display my dolls and actually um, change them from time to time so that they go with each season. Um, I do like the fact that these dolls are very good starter dolls for girls who might have a sister or for girls who might have a twin. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and change them up for the summer because right now their outfits are screaming spring and we are very much in the middle of summer now. So some of you have probably watched my previous video. So you guys are already familiar with the fact that I bought the Marvelous Mermaid outfit for Deidre to wear. And this is the outfit that I purchased for my doll, Danelle, because ironically, Danelle actually wears an outfit identical or either similar to this in their book. And um, because they're character dolls, they actually do come with a book. Um, I haven't read the story yet, which I'm a little disappointed about. Uh, I haven't really had the time to really read their story, but I am looking forward to maybe having some time around the holiday season um, to really sit and uh, dive into some of the old stories that I used to love when I was growing up as a girl. Um, so without further delay, I'm going to go ahead and change up the doll so you guys can see these two outfits. Okay guys, here she is. Here is little Miss Deidre. She looks very much like a beautiful little mermaid diva. <laughs> That's probably what I'm going to call her, a little mermaid diva. So um, she and her twin sister switched barrettes because I thought these would be more of uh, accessory if they had the same color such as the uh, swimsuit. And my favorite feature on the swimsuit is actually the print um, as well as the faux fins uh, around the upper thigh area that are purple but check out check out the detail um, when it, it comes to this um, whoops I'm sorry this print and I also like the sequins I thought that the sequins on um, this little detail here on the starfish would be a little too much but it is just right it's just enough so um, she is just so sweet in this outfit. She looks so sweet in this outfit. Um, the shades are really fun and whimsical because I think the whole set is a whimsical set. Um, the mermaid theme just makes it that much better. And it all kind of comes together in a nice little palette of colors. Like you have the two-toned sandals, which are jelly sandals, which look absolutely fabulous. And... Um, the purple is amazing. It's like a violet purple 
um, to match the violet around the fins of the upper thigh area of the bathing suit. And then you have the realistic tan of the sandals uh, because most of the soles on sandals are tan. Then you have um, this lovely picture, um, the stock photo, so that way you don't lose any of the accessories that go with the set. And remember my little trick is to write the name of the outfit on the back of this photo. You have the message in a bottle. So this is the faux bottle with the map where the treasure is buried. And then you have this lovely, very, very thin um, aqua themed beach towel. And so it's not really gonna be a real beach towel that she can lay out on, but it's good enough. It'll keep her nice and dry once she gets out of the waves. And I do like the faux waves and the ombre coloring on this beach towel. Then you have the faux shell that comes with this set. And um, it really is nice because it's always nice to collect those shells when you're on the beach. And again, back to the sunglasses, I really thought the sunglasses would look cheap, but um, they look like real sunglasses that you would give a child. So I really do like um, the outline of the sunglasses, how they match the fun, whimsical theme of the bathing suit. Oh my gosh, the bathing suit is just the cutest and she looks so adorable in it. I had reservations about actually getting this outfit because I really thought it would be like team too much, you know, just way too much clashing, way too many weird colors. I didn't really know if I would like the mermaid theme. I didn't know if it would look cheap on her, but they really did a good job. I think this is like one of my favorite outfits from our generation, never mind whether it's my favorite beach outfit from our generation or just ever in the doll world. Um, I think it's just my, one of my favorite outfits, period, on a doll. Um, just because it was so well thought out. And I always think that you have to give a shout out to companies that really go the extra mile. And I feel like our generation these days, they're really going the extra mile to give people what they want. Um, what little girl wouldn't want her doll to dress like this as, um, you know, your family's going to the beach? Um, I would be so proud of my doll if I had taken her on trips with me, uh, with my family to beaches and, um, you know, fun getaways in the summer. Um, it's just one of those things where you really want your doll to be, to kind of match what you're doing. So if you're going to the beach, sometimes you want your doll to match. Um, she comes, or this doll Deidre came with a, a necklace. So what I did was I turned her necklace over so that you can't really see it. All you can see is the chain. So if you're curious about that little thing around her neck, that's her necklace turned around because I really didn't want the necklace to take away from the outfit. Okay, so when you turn Deidre over, you can see how... Um, it ties in the back and again you can see like her little necklace turned around in the back and I like how she fills out the outfit properly. I also like how the sandals look in the back. Again you're talking about a realistic look um, that a little girl would wear and um, she has just enough stuffing to fill this suit out properly. So I like how um, the fit of the bathing suit looks on the doll. So again, that is Deidre in her swimsuit outfit, a Marvelous Mermaid. So I'm going to go ahead and get her twin. Okay, guys, stay tuned for part two of what Danelle's swimsuit when I present Danelle's swimsuit. My little one's crying, so I got to go.